What's up guys, Red Fly Gamer here, and um here to basically talk about my theory of who I believe Toby is. Uh it's not Obito. I'm throwing it out the window before, so if you think that, you know, that that's just retarded, in my opinion. Because I don't think Kishimoto would make it that obvious. It's everything that's been happening in the manga lately and things that happened previously is all look toward, you know, Obito and everybody would already know before they even reveal it, if they reveal it. And I believe it's Shishu Uchiha, as you see by the title, and let me talk about it. Um, I'll be reading the ideas off the forum and basically putting my input on what I, why I think these are correct, or could be correct. So, let's go. Go. <laughs> I know people are going to whine and say, no, Itachi kills him. Well, here's the deal. Shishu's body was never recovered, and here's the other deal. Shishu was a badass Kenjutsu user. Gain the Mangeki of Shinigami. One must feel the effects of the person closest to them dying. They must feel the emotion that person doesn't actually have to die nor do they have to be killed by the user's own hands. As long as Itachi thought Shishu was dead and felt that remorse, hurt, and sadness, he'd gain the Mangeki of Shinigami. For all we know, Shishu could have used the Genjutsu on Itachi to make him believe that he had actually killed him and escaped. Alright, that's step one. That's, uh, you know, idea one of why I believe it. Okay, so... If you, just, as long as you feel the emotion of your best friend dying, you can achieve the Mangeki of Sharingan. You know, they haven't, they've went in depth talking about Sasuke about it, but that's pretty much it. They didn't really say the guy had to be dead. So, if you could, if you put him in a Genjutsu, and he thought he was dead, and if, as what they say, she, she was a better Genjutsu using Itachi, then he could have believed it and get still got it. Like, for example, in real life, if, you know, you got a call saying your, you know, your dad died in a car crash or something like that you would still feel the pain from it and just like if you saw it so I mean that doesn't change the fact so I mean it could work out like that and that's just idea one let's keep going plus Toby's spiky hair totally looks like she's free and it would explain why exactly Toby knew about Itachi wanting to protect Sasuke and why he had all the facts to tell Sasuke simply because he was involved with the whole time so think about she should and Itachi were best friends so, I mean, he probably told them some things before he even, they even, you know, Itachi was trying to get Mangeki of Dragon Gun. And I don't know, how would Obito, for example, know all these things that Madara know? You know how Madara was explaining to Sasuke about, you know, everything about Itachi. But since Shishu and Itachi are best friends, he probably, Shishu probably knew about his intentions uh, with Sasuke from the beginning. And, I mean, as a best friend, you would tell your best friend a lot of stuff. So, I mean, that's just an example there. Shisui's Mangekio design has ne uh, been shown and Toby has never used Mangekio, but why would that be? Well, because Shisui had one eye taken from him by Danzo, and the other one is in the crow. Also, remember how angry Toby was when Danzo destroyed Shisui's eye because he wanted it for himself. Now, why would he would he want Shisui's eyes unless there was his own? Once his own. He could have taken Itachi's, but he didn't. He was focused on Shisui's. Third idea, probably the most important. I mean... At the time when Sasuke killed Itachi, it, right after that they went to, you know, trying to achieve the eight tails and then they attacked the Five Kage Summit and they went to go fight Danzo. And he found that Danzo destroyed Shishi's eye and it made, you know, Madara didn't like that. Well, Toby didn't like that at all. And it made him mad because he wanted the eye. But the thing is, I mean, Itachi, if he wanted Mangeki Oshiringa, he could have just took Itachi's. What was so special about Shishi's eye that made him want that one? I mean, I'm pretty sure Man uh, Itachi Mangeki was just as good. So what would be so special about why he would want Shisui's? That's another great idea. Toby also acknowledges to Kabuto that the real Madara is dead. When he sees the coffin, so we definitely know Toby is not the real deal. So that means, you know, we already know that since uh, we're that far in the manga. Or people who read the manga, it's kind of spoilers in this too. So if you, you know, don't want to know that, then I would have been clicked off the videos a little bit too late. But, uh, yeah. That's the last idea. So we know Toby is somebody. You know, so we know it's not Madara. So we know it has to be somebody. And a couple of these ideas do lead to him. I mean, so tell me what you guys think about the ideas that I just gave off and my feelings about it. And uh, tell me what you guys think. That's it. All right, I'm out.